I'm Emiliana Simon-Thomas, and I'm the Science Director at UC Berkeley's Greater Good Science Center, and I co-teach the Science of Happiness on edX. One of the first things that we do when we teach about happiness is get everyone on the same page about what it means to be happy. A lot of people think it means that you have to be cheerful and enthusiastic and exuberant and triumphant and all those enjoyable states all the time. Actually, happiness is much richer than that and is inclusive of the kinds of emotions that we've all been grappling with over the past 18 months that are responses, adaptive responses to life's more difficult moments. Another myth that a lot of people hold about happiness is that somehow you're born with it and whatever happiness level you have is what you're going to have for the rest of your life. Well, in the science of happiness, we teach people skills that actually can change the happiness that you feel on a day-to-day -day basis, can help you foster happiness in other people, and build more happiness into your communities. What we've learned from the literature and psychology and organizations and leadership in public health is that when people are happier at work, their lives improve and the success of organizations also improves. The bottom line gets better. There's less turnover. There's higher retention of your high quality employees and workforce. We can focus on resilience. So how can we give people the skills that they need to manage and transcend those challenges that are inevitably going to occur in our work lives. And then finally, and certainly not least important, is kindness at work. There's this old myth that workplaces are about competition and hierarchy and just gritting it together and being stoic. Actually, when workplaces are characterized by friendliness and compassion and generosity and more streamlined in terms of coordinating effort and uh, making it easy to cooperate, those are the workplaces that, that, that are sustainable, that are profitable, and that end up being more fulfilling for everyone. Individuals who, who work there, the clients who they serve, and the communities that they function within.